Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys the new and updated best settings for WinLater Android and I can guarantee 100% to you guys that after applying these best settings your game will run more than twice as good as it used to run so without wasting any more time let's get started through today's video so first of all in WinLater Android you don't really have any global configuration all you have to do is create a new container or edit your existing container and apply the settings which I'm about to show you guys First of all, screen size, make sure to keep it as default, 800 by 600 less resolution means better performance. In graphics driver, make sure to select Turnip plus Zinc and if you guys have an Mali GPU Android device, go with Virgil. Afterwards, you have to make sure to enable show FPS option, that's how the emulator will let you know what kind of performance you are getting. Here in processor affinity, what you have to do is make sure to turn on CPU 1, 2 and 3 and disable CPU 0, don't enable this uh, because sometimes if you have all these cores enabled, I have noticed that it might cause crashing issues while opening some games, that's why I like to keep CPU 0 disabled. Even if you turn off all these three uh, first three cores and just enable the last four cores, the game will still run amazingly so you don't have to worry about disabling a CPU core and uh, decreasing the performance. Afterwards GPU name, make sure to set it to 9600 GT or 9800 GT. In my previous video, I used to set it to GTX 1070 which was a bad choice and because of that I used to get less FPS. So setting 9800 GT is the best option but you can always experiment by going a bit lower or a bit higher. Let's scroll down, video memory make sure to keep it at 2 GB again. Previously I used to set it to 4 GB, there is no need to set it to 4 GB, it's just exceeding the requirements. So we'll just go with 2 GB of video memory size and still you will get the best amount of performance possible. Afterwards go to DX components, this is another one of the things which really fixed my gameplay experience in WinLater Android. Direct sound, make sure to turn your direct sound to native windows, it will fix all the crackling issues, lagging issues present in audio etc. So after this all you have to do is go to DX wrapper, choose Wine 8.2 or Wine 8.2. Now you'll be like, why isn't there DXVK options right here? That's because I'm using the CN version of WinLater Android. I have already made a tutorial on uh, setting up the CN WinLater which has uh, early features and early improvements that are supposed to be released in the next upcoming updates of WinLater Android. So definitely check out my video. But once you have applied these settings, all you have to do is tick mark. Now we are not yet done with the best settings. To get more FPS, I'll show you guys what you have to do after you create an container. So let's run our new container and I'll also show you guys the FPS difference. Once the container is created, it will say something like this. Uh, you just have to wait for a few seconds. After it's done updating or setting up the new container, all you have to do is go to the start section and tap on it. Go to DX wrapper. If you are on WinLater CN, what you have to do is choose the DXVK version as 2.2 but I do face some graphical issues with 2.2 so the best version which I like to choose is D9VK 0.40.1 and then click on it. It will take some seconds to initialize it. I would also recommend you guys to go with D9VK version 0.40.1 uh, if you guys face some graphical issues with DXVK 2.2. If not, then go with DXVK 2.2. But another thing which I'd like you guys to test out is by going to registry, make sure to choose the uh, GPU renderer as OpenGL or Vulkan. For today's video, I'll go with OpenGL. After you configure all of this, it should pop up right here DXVK D9VK 0.40.1. That means you are all set and just take a look at the FPS that we are getting it's way better than previous uh, but I'll go in game and show you guys that it really does work way better first of all let me toggle full screen let's enable input controls as RTS tap on ok press enter another thing which I'd like to recommend you guys is to decrease the graphics quality of the game itself so whenever a new game starts just go to options go to graphics option and make sure to decrease the graphic quality now for today's video I won't be decreasing the graphics graphic quality because I want to show you guys how well does the game work at highest graphics possible but if you do decrease the graphics quality and level of detail then I am pretty sure you will get way better performance in any game which you try to emulate. We can't forget that this is windows emulation on android and android devices aren't supposed to be as powerful as PCs. I believe that performance is way necessary than gameplay quality. So let's take a look at how well does the game work in open world scenarios. Alright I guess the game was saved from the previous state where I left it off. 
So right here you can see during the cutscene there are no graphical issues whatsoever and in my previous test of Assassin's Creed with DXVK 2.0 I'll put the video on the iCard above you can see I was getting lot of graphical issues during this scenario or cutscene whereas with D9VK I am not facing any kind of graphics issue. Now let me just go ahead and go back and show you guys how well does the game work in open world scenarios. Now remember guys in the win later CN video which I uploaded the FPS which I was getting in Assassin's Creed at least during the beginning of the game was less than 6 to 5 FPS that's very very poor performance but right now you can see I'm getting well over 14 FPS even though it's still not playable but this game is not really optimized for such emulation so I'm getting almost twice as more FPS than what I used to get previously so be sure to apply these best settings and let me know how well does your game work in the comment section down below thanks for watching see you guys next time Peace out.